Potty Potty. Gary in Santa Maria, California. Hey, Gary, go ahead. Oh, this is a, a tough one for me. It has to do with my deceased uh, brother. He died in 1999. Oh, sorry to hear that. And uh, he was uh, heavily into the uh, Goo Goo Dolls, which wasn't my style of music. I tried to remind him they used to be called the Sex Maggots before they were changed their name to the Goo Goo Dolls. And what kind of music did they play? Well, it, it's, it's the same. They've really grown up. But they're they're exceptional now. You guys have used the Goo Goo Dolls as um, uh, bumper music on your show. Yeah, but they're times. still out there playing. Oh, did they, <laughs> I, how do you read my mind? Maybe I know. Um, they are starting tour again on uh, July sixteenth uh, in Santa Barbara. Uh, their boxes tour, um, which I wasn't even going to mention, but I, you know, as far as a, you know, I'm going to digress. As far as a paranormal group goes, I don't know of any rock group that's more paranormal than the Goo Goo Dolls. Remember, in 1991, they did Freddy's Dead: The Final Nightmare. They did two episodes of Charmed. Uh, one the uh, uh, they played January Friend and Broadway, and um, they, uh, they're they just, uh, if you read their lyrics, it is so coast-to-coast -coast style, it's frightening. And the uh, uh, the uh, lead singer, I'm just spacing on his name temporarily, I can't believe that, um, Robbie, uh, Robbie Tacky, uh, he studied radio broadcasting and was doing uncredited voiceovers just a few years ago. He loves radio. I would recommend, if you read the lyrics, especially look at their uh, video, Rebel Beat. I just started a YouTube channel uh, called Rebel Insiders. They're out of, one they, word. they were out of Buffalo, New York, weren't they? Yeah, they are. And... Um, and they're just now coming out of mothballs again, uh, playing, but they've mellowed. Well, actually, I guess I should say they've matured, not mellowed. And they made it, they made it through the heavy, heavy metal days, and I, I'm just impressed with them. I never paid them any attention unless my brother forced me to. And uh, when he died, I put on their music, and I asked him, my brother, who was then deceased in the middle of the Mojave Desert. He was a Class 1 technician landing the space shuttle. He ran telemetry, uh, artificial intelligent programming, which you know I've done too, so sure. we were kind of a tag team. And I said, Bruce, I need some unambiguous sign that you're still here. Please, somehow, give me an unambiguous sign. Two seconds later... The front glass of the wood-burning stove, guaranteed to 2,300 degrees, exploded from the inside out, except there wasn't a raging fire. There was only a light layer of glowing embers in the middle of it. And then I rented to a family a month later, his house, and they had a, five kids. They had a two-year-old girl who pointed to the dark room by the stove and said, Mommy, the man right there is hungry. He wants some spaghetti. Ooh. And the dog <laughs> used to track like he was watching somebody walk back and forth. We all went absolutely silent. Only the, at this, she was two years old. I swear, I hope the audience can hear the honesty in my voice. I am not exaggerating one single Syllable. My brother and I, after my head injury, and I used a 500,000 volt Tesla coil on the brain damaged part of my brain for the third time for rehabilitation. My brother and I practiced telepathy. I would look at a card and try and send it to him. George, he called 17 in a row correct. That, that it defies that any kind diamonds. of probability. That's amazing. Now, anyway, I put a link coincidentally just yesterday i only have one video up it was my uh, paranormal date.com video they discontinued the video profile so i pulled it off paranormal date and i put it up on my youtube channel 
um, uh, you know, rebel insiders, all one word, plural, but you'll, you'll see my video introduction and I'll fill in parts of the story, but please consider getting Robbie, uh, Tiak, uh, attack a, a, uh, an interview when they start their tour. If you listen to their lyrics, watch their lyrics. Don't listen to them. Take the Warner Brother video. Well, and there's only what two? There's only two guys, right? No, uh, no, there's three. Three of them. Um, and uh, one of them. Uh, there was a good John Resnick, I think, was yes, one of them. Yes, he's also he's also one of the lead. Uh, they uh, and then there uh, there's a replacement that replaced Tusiak, uh, and I. Oh, I should remember his name. I'm horrible with names. I mean, you remember everything in the world but names. Um, but uh, it was... Uh, There's a drummer in there somewhere, right? It Was yeah, it Mike... That's, that's his name I'm not remembering. Was it Mike Melanin? That's it. Because I keep thinking melatonin when I hear melanin. Um, but... Um, yeah, they're just going to be starting tour in, in July, of course, major record label Warner Brothers. I swear on everything that's holy. Warner Brothers used, they appeared on 90210 on the very last season, the very last episode of the last season, was also the day, May 13th, 2013, you should listen to your show on that day for your 99 cent promo on Coast Insider. Gosh, you're good. Talk about sun flares. They went like crazy. All right, my friend. Gary, got to run. Uh, running out of time here, but thanks, my friend.